friends, welcome to this video. In the previous video, we learned about the balanced chemical equation. Today, in this video, we will learn about the combination reaction. Let us now begin with today's topic, combination reaction. Does the word combination reveal anything about it? Right. The word combination tells us that we are combining something. So, how do we define combination reactions? Combination reactions are the reactions in which we combine two or more reactants to obtain a single product. Let us take an example of a combination reaction. Take some calcium oxide, which is also called quicklime, in a beaker and add some water to it. Then touch the beaker. Calcium oxide reacts vigorously with water to form slaked lime, that's calcium hydroxide, and releases a large amount of heat energy. So at the same time, you will see that the temperature of the beaker has increased. Note that in this reaction, calcium oxide and water, H2O, combine to form a product, calcium hydroxide, slaked lime. Two reactants are forming a product together in the reaction. Also, heat is being generated in this reaction. Reactions in which Heat is produced along with the formation of the product are called exothermic reactions. We will study them further. Friends, do you know what slaked lime is? Slaked lime is calcium hydroxide, CaOH2, and it is used for whitewashing the walls. And after 2-3 days, you would have observed white shining finish on the walls? Do you know what it is? It is because slaked lime reacts with carbon dioxide, CO2 from the atmosphere and forms calcium carbonate. And this makes the walls shine. The chemical formula of marble is also CaCO3. Isn't it fun? Let us discuss a few more examples of combination reactions. The first example is that of burning coal. In this, coal which is carbon reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. Is this also a combination reaction? Why? Because two reactants that is, carbon and oxygen are combining to form a single product, which is carbon dioxide. Hence, it is also a combination reaction. Let us discuss one more example of combination reaction. That is, formation of water. In this reaction, hydrogen and oxygen combine to form water. Why is this reaction a combination reaction? Because here two substances that is H2 hydrogen and O2 oxygen together form a single product H2O water. Hence this reaction is an example of a combination reaction. Friends, we have observed in our first example that a large amount of heat energy was evolved when we added water to quicklime. You remember what quicklime is? Yes, calcium oxide, CaO is quicklime. So students, such reactions in which heat energy is evolved are called exothermic reactions. Let us now discuss a few examples of exothermic reactions. 
The first example is burning of natural gas. Methane CH4 when burnt in air reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water along with a large amount of heat. So, it is an exothermic reaction. Do you know the process of respiration is also an exothermic process? The food we consume like potatoes, rice, bread, etc. contains carbohydrates and these carbohydrates are reduced to form glucose which is further broken down to simple substances like carbon dioxide and water releasing a large amount of energy. The decomposition of vegetable matter into compost is also an example of exothermic reaction. However, it is not necessary that all combination reactions are exothermic. We can take one more example of a combination reaction, which is burning of magnesium ribbon. Magnesium burns in oxygen to produce Magnesium Oxide So friends, today in this video, we studied combination reactions. In the next video, we will learn about decomposition reaction.